Today, I'm going to talk about smartphones as a convergence device. Now, imagine you have to carry around these devices today. Other people might consider you as a freak, but we are used to do it. However, the digitization and convergence fits everything into this device. A smartphone. It is a Swiss army knife of technologies. Now, previously, we have to live with old and incapable feature phones. We can merely make a call and texting only. Thankfully, the digitization and convergence brings the phones become a smarter one, a smartphone. So, what is the digitization? Well, the digitization is a process that transforms analog media such as films or records and store in the digital format. For example, from tape cassette to the audio files on your computer. Now, what is a convergence then? Well, according to the Henry Jenkins, an American scholar, convergence is a phenomenon that content can go across media platforms and the differences between them were blurred. Content is a king. Watching your favorite TV shows on your phone, browsing the web on your phone, that's an example of convergence. But convergence might not be enough. With the introductions of the app concept, we can utilize full potential of the phones and turn them into the handheld computer. You want to take a video and share it to your friends? Go ahead within a few taps away. With these phenomena, smartphones became a central of our life. We are no longer have to carry each device for each task anymore. We can connect it with our friends within a few taps away. Some companies like Microsoft even go further. Let you use your phone as a computer. But with these phenomena, it's also introduced a new form of concerns as well. Imagine you lost a phone with everything in your life. How frightening is that? In addition, these phones are computers. They have a software and software always comes with flaws. Can you assure that someone will not hack into your phone? Impossible. But as we rely on smartphones so much these days, it is hard to reject it. One way is to live with it with conscious. Be mindful what you are using and how you're using it. It helps us, but it also can change us as well.